Nine dangerous coral reef creatures. It's a pleasure to swim in clear, warm tropical waters and take in all the color and life along coral reefs and coastlines. But these areas can be just as dangerous as swimming in the open ocean. Many people think sharks are the main creatures to worry about, but the real dangers lie in undersea life you might not suspect, like snails, jellyfish, and certain camouflaged fish. Cone snails use an elongated barbed tooth as a harpoon to inject venom that paralyzes prey before they eat it. For humans, many species of cone snails have stings that feel a bit like a bee sting, but the geography cone, striated cone, and textile cone, or cloth of gold cone, all have powerful venom. Symptoms of a sting include localized pain, swelling, vomiting, and in extreme cases, paralysis and respiratory failure. The effects can start immediately or be delayed for as long as days after the sting, because cone snails are slow moving, they use a venomous harpoon, called a toxoglossin radula, to capture faster moving prey, such as fish. The venom of a few larger species, especially the piscivorous ones, is powerful enough to kill a human being. Severe cases of cone snail stings involve muscle paralysis, blurred, double vision, and respiratory paralysis, leading to death. Stonefish. Sinensia is a genus of fish of the family Sinensiidae, the stonefish, whose members are venomous, dangerous, and even fatal to humans. They are the most venomous fish known. They are found in the coastal regions of the Indo-Pacific. The world's most venomous fish is a close relative to the scorpion fishes, known as the stonefish. Through its dorsal fin spines, the stonefish can inject a venom that is capable of killing an adult person in less than an or as long as their surrounding area remains moist. Stonefish can survive up to 24 hours by absorbing oxygen through their skin. This is often seen during retreating tides, which leave them partially exposed. However, after this they will generally die from suffocation and dehydration. If you step on the fish however, it's a different story. Stonefish have 13 spines lining its back that release venom under pressure. Unsurprisingly, the more venom that is injected, the worse it is for you. Stings result in terrible pain, swelling, necrosis, tissue death, and even death. If for whatever reason you accidentally step on a stonefish, seek immediate treatment as the venom can cause severe pain, heart failure and even death if left untreated. Hot water can be used for temporary relief however seeking medical attention and anti-venom is essential. Sea snakes. While sea snakes aren't particularly dangerous, most species have extremely powerful venom. Because the amount of venom is relatively low, there are few fatalities due to sea snakes. Fishermen, who catch sea snakes in their nets, are at the greatest risk of being bitten. The most deadly of sea snakes are two species that live in the waters off of Asia and Australia. If a person is bitten, the bite itself is usually small and may be painless and unnoticed. However, from 30 minutes to a few hours after the bite, symptoms may set in that include headache, thirst, vomiting, muscle aches, and later paralysis, renal failure, and cardiac arrest. Needlefish. They are aggressive, venomous or poisonous, or pack a mean bite. They're dangerous mostly because of their shape, their needle-like teeth, and their ability to become airborne. The dagger-shaped fish usually swim just a few inches below the water's surface, but they can launch themselves out of the water at speeds of up to 37 miles per hour. They have been known to cause injury and sometimes death in people who happen to be in their way. More eels. With rows of sharp, dangerous teeth, a snake-like body with an elusive lifestyle, the sometimes shy moray eels are one of the coral reef's most effective predators. As menacing as they appear, moray eels are not considered aggressive, but have been known to defend their lairs, or quickly biting any perceived danger. In addition to the pain, wounds from moray bites usually bleed heavily. It was suggested that bleeding and pain are related to a toxin in the slime coat of the skin and the mucus of the mouth. Another toxin found in the mucus coat of moray eel was shown to be hemolytic, meaning the toxin destroys red blood cells. Leonfish. Tarawis is a genus of venomous marine fish, commonly known as leonfish, native to the Indo-Pacific. Also called zebrafish, firefish, turkeyfish, tastyfish or butterfly cod, it is characterized by conspicuous warning coloration with red, white, creamy, or black bands, showy pectoral fins, and venomous spiky fin rays. 
The venom of the red lionfish, delivered via an array of up to 18 needle-like dorsal fins, is purely defensive. It relies on camouflage and lightning-fast reflexes to capture prey, mainly fish and shrimp. A sting from a lionfish is extremely painful to humans and can cause nausea and breathing difficulties, but is rarely fatal. Lionfish are venomous, not poisonous, which means they deliver their toxin through needles, namely their spines. Toxin from poisonous creatures, on the other hand, must be ingested to work its magic. Without their spines, lionfish have no way to inject venom. Lionfish spines deliver a venomous sting that can last for days and cause extreme pain. Also sweating, respiratory distress and even paralysis. Lionfish venom can sting you even after the fish is dead. Irukandji jellyfish or any of several similar, extremely venomous species of box jellyfish. With an adult size of about a cubic centimeter, they are both the smallest and one of the most venomous jellyfish in the world. They inhabit the northern marine waters of Australia. They are able to fire their stingers into their victim, causing symptoms collectively known as Irukandji syndrome. There are about 16 known species of Irukandji, of which Karukia barnasi, Malo kingi, Malo maxima, Malo filipina and Malo bella are the best known. The symptoms of Irukandji syndrome were first documented by Hugo Flecker in 1952. They were named after the Irukandji people, whose country stretches along the coastal strip north of Cairns, Queensland. The first of these jellyfish, Karukia barnasi, was identified in 1964 by Jack Barnes. To prove it was the cause of Irukandji syndrome, he captured the tiny jellyfish and allowed it to sting him, his nine-year-old son and a robust young lifeguard. They all became seriously ill, but survived. Australian toxinologist Jamie Seymour made a documentary about the jellyfish called Killer Jellyfish. In 2015, North Queensland researchers discovered evidence that Irukandji jellyfish actively hunt prey. Box jellyfish. Box jellyfish are considered the world's most venomous creatures, their stings have caused 60 deaths in the past 100 years. They are found throughout warm coastal waters, but the most lethal of box jellyfish are in the Indo-Pacific region in northern Australia. The deadly varieties of box jellyfish have tentacles covered in what are essentially minuscule poison darts. A person stung by the most lethal box jellyfish may experience symptoms such as paralysis, cardiac arrest, and potentially death within a few minutes of being stung. Box jellyfish are cnidarian invertebrates distinguished by their cube-shaped medusae. Some species of box jellyfish produce extremely potent venom, Chironix fleckery, Karukia barnasi and Malokingi. Stings from these and a few other species in the class are extremely painful and can be fatal to humans. Blue-ringed octopus Blue-ringed octopuses, comprising the genus Hopoloclina, are four highly venomous species of octopus that are found in tide pools and coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, from Japan to Australia. Toxicity. The blue-ringed octopus, despite its small size, carries enough venom to kill 26 adult humans within minutes. Their bites are tiny and often painless, with many victims not realizing they have been envenomated until respiratory depression and paralysis begins. Although all octopuses, as well as cuttlefish and some squid, are venomous, the blue-ringed octopus is in a league of its own. Its venom is 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide, and this golf ball-sized powerhouse packs enough venom to kill 26 humans within minutes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.